Hello everyone, today I will review the Sonoff 4 channel module and um, it's about inch and a half wide by about almost six inches wide total and about maybe four almost four inches this way, in this direction and uh, I'll just review this right quick uh, first let me take these tabs out so we can see what's inside over here we have the four push buttons and here are the five LEDs uh, these four LEDs here for the channels and this LED here is for the Wi-Fi just to see if you have a signal or not and um, let's go ahead and hook this up so you can see how this works uh, I'll use these um, little light bulb socket and I'll put these light bulbs in here I have the LED light bulb and I'll insert them in and I uh, have four of them so we can see how this thing works so before we do that let me connect the power supply just for demonstration I'll use this computer cable it has the this one here is hot this one's uh, ground and this is neutral and I'll connect them right quick so we can get this to work to connect all you do is just press these white tabs in and then you push the wire in. I'm gonna just twist this real good, make sure we have a nice connection. And on this wire, the one with the letters, I don't know if you can see the lettering on that wire right there. Uh, this one is uh, hot and the one with, that's plain, nothing on there, this one's uh, neutral. So I'll connect this neutral in and I'll press this in push all the way in and then this one's hot and hot connects to in is that one and all of these are out so I gotta make sure that I connect that on the first rail and then we'll connect the earth later. All right, and if I pull on the wires a little bit, just make sure they're in, and it seems a good fit. And I'll press this tab in and stick in the neutral. Now to wire these little lights that we'll test, black is of course hot and white is neutral. In this case, we don't have um, in this case we don't have um, earth so I'll just connect them in right quick I'll move this wire over and make sure this is crimped in I'll press this tab and I'll push that wire in to neutral And this one goes to neutral. And this one goes to neutral. And last one. I'll connect it right over here. Make sure that's all nice and tight. All right, so let's see. This one's channel one, two, three, four. All right, so this is channel three. This one's channel one. This one's two. And this one's four. So like this. Let me zoom out. So channel one, two, three, four. And now let me put bulbs in these. And you can actually hook up small motors or whatever. And this will handle up to 10 amps. Okay. Now they're all connected. Now I'm going to plug this other end of this wire in. And let's see if we can get it to work. Okay, it's plugged in. You can see 
the lights over here flashing this LED over here and now when I press one of these buttons um, these L bulbs will turn on if I press channel this is 4 channel 3 channel 2 I have these backwards and channel 1 and as you can see all of them turned on okay so this works and to hook up the Wi-Fi part I will need my phone and you go to your app store and type in EV link and download this app and then hit install and it installs and then just kinda wait on it to do its thing and then we'll open it up alright and on your very first use of the app it will ask you to uh, create an account I already have an account so okay after you download the app it looks like this just hit got it and if you have devices it will show you but all you do is um, you hit uh, this plus to add a device and then you press and hold channel 1 and kinda hold it and I'll see what happens there it goes and it's pairing and you can see this is blinking I'll just hit next and I type in my Wi-Fi password and then now it's pairing it's taking a while there it goes it's speeding up finally alright and now we can name it anything we want I'll name it four four lights complete to add okay and now it's here so now I can control the four light bulbs with that so if I do outlet number one outlet number two it's this one outlet number three outlet number four and that's it okay and you can also uh, have these little cool looking on off switches and you can do a timer and uh, to add a timer you just hit add timer and uh, I know my heart my screen is hard to see let you say Tuesday we want to repeat um, all the time I want the timer to be on Tuesday Thursdays at 607 and I want channel 1 and 3 I want channel one. I guess you can do two at a time. I guess we want light bulb one to turn on. Um, well, it's 6:07 already. Let's do 6:08. So at 6:08, I want channel one to turn on, and I save it. So now I have a timer, and if I want to add another one, I want timer two to turn on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.08 save so now outlet 1 and 2 will turn on at 6.08 and now let's just wait till 6.08 and then 1 and 2 will turn on alright at 6.08 and the lights just turned on there they are and that's how it works and, then, and to turn them off you would add a timer uh, repeat Tuesday Thursdays turn off at 609 save you'd add another timer uh, for channel 2 
on Tuesday, Thursdays to turn off at 6.09. Save. So now, every Tuesday, Thursday, outlet 1 and 2 will turn on at 6.08, and at 6.09, outlet 1 and 2 will turn off. And now let's wait till 6.09, just to make sure this works. And also, these LEDs over here are on, telling you which uh, outlet is on. And we'll just wait here a little bit. There we go, 609, and both lights turned off. Alrighty, hope you liked the tutorial. Uh, let me actually maybe take this apart and we'll see what's inside of it right quick. Okay, now I'm going to take this apart. Okay, and here we have this nice looking board. Here are the four switches. There's a fuse in here. So if you find yourself you're, that the board isn't working, check this fuse. And here we have the, not sure what kind of, I'm not sure if it's an ESP or something else. But the pro programmable pins are over here. So you can flash it and control it. Maybe I'll make a video later on on how to hack this thing. Um, here we have the bus term terminals for each one of these. Now notice how this bus here is all connected together. This is the earth and it's not going anywhere, just all isolated on the island. While the neutral it's all connected and it gives power uh, to the rest of the circuit. So that's pretty cool. And they have a divider here separating high and low voltage. So everything over here is 110 volts and everything below is 5 volts, which is pretty nifty. Okay, well, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think. Subscribe and like. Thank you.